Mystery Island, guck mal. Mystery Island, guck mal. There's a place you gotta see. Amanda Discovery. It's Mystery Island. Mystery Island. Searching for the ancient truth. Hand it down to me and you. Mystery Island. Come on. Won't you come along with me? Welcome back to Mystery Island BBS. We are on day four. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am to get into today. Today we're gonna to be talking about how God is Emmanuel and how God the Father sent his son to this earth to be our savior. I cannot wait. Now, we have Justin and Ethan still on location at Mystery Island. They've been on an adventure for three days already trying to find the secret hidden clues that reveal secret letters to us so that we can figure out the mystery word of the week. We have three of those letters already. We need two more. Let's go to Justin and Ethan and see what they're up to today. Oh, yeah, we're getting up, Carrie, but I tell you what. Ooh, we have slept good tonight. We found an old cave to crawl into it's been dark and peaceful. And oh yeah. It's been beautiful. Nice. We are doing good now. And I found this real nice blanket, real yeah. furry blanket to blanket? cuddle up to. I've been coming up to it all night. A blanket? Yeah. Aloha, Mystery Islanders. Hey. We have a mystery clue today. What do you see behind me? Can you count them? Are you counting them all around? Wow, what do you see? It has to do with what we're talking about today. God's love. Are you seeing hearts? How many? Are you seeing three, five, seven? You got it. That's right, seven. Seven hearts. And to, to remind us that God loves us so much that he came to earth. Emmanuel came to earth because he loves us. And, and God loved us so much that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And that's our memory verse too today, Romans 5, 8, that uh, God loved us that much. I'm so excited to talk to you about lesson four today. But first, we're going to look in the treasure box and see all the things we've learned so far. We've learned that God is great. He is awesome and wise. We've also learned that God is, is the ruler, an almighty God, and he takes care of us and he's created all things. He's got the whole world in his hands. We've also learned that he is the king and ruler of all the earth, and we can praise him for that. But today, we're going to be talking about God being Emmanuel, or God with us. You probably heard the word Emmanuel around Christmas time. Uh, you know, there's some songs that talk about God being Emmanuel. And the word Emmanuel means God with us. And we celebrate God coming to earth to uh, save us, for us to get to know him better at Christmas time. And so we think about that during that time. But first of all, we're going to talk about, because it's kind of confusing when you hear Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit. Well, uh, when you look in the Bible, it talks about God being uh, three persons and one God. God is different than people. He's got three parts. There's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I brought some pictures that might help us think about that. Here's a, a picture of a shamrock. The shamrock has three leaves, but it's just one shamrock, right? What about this one? Here's a tricycle. Some of you might ride tricycles or have ridden tricycles in the past. Tricycles have three tires, right? One, if they only had one tire, it wouldn't work very good, would it? But they need each tire to be a complete tricycle. And you hear the word tri, tricycle, just like Trinity. So there's three and one. That's what we think of with God. And then I brought another uh, little example. And hopefully, I don't make too much of a mess. I've got an egg here. An egg has three parts, but it's one egg, isn't it? I'm going to tap it. Oh, shouldn't tap it on the treasure chest, probably. But we have the shell. 
we have the white part and then we have the yolk. It's three parts and one egg. Just like God, he's three parts, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but one. And God loves us so much that he left heaven. Jesus came down to earth. He left heaven to come so that he could know us more and so he could have that relationship with us. Jesus left heaven and came to earth as a baby. He was completely God and completely man. So we can celebrate that Emmanuel, God with us. Hear that word again, Emmanuel? And he did that because he loves us. He looked down into time and he thought, man, I want to get to know that person. But there was something blocking the way. Sin came into the world. If you remember Adam and Eve, sin came into the world when uh, the serpent uh, snuck in the garden and tricked Eve and she disobeyed God and sin came into the world. And we know that we sin sometimes and that's when we disobey God. And we do that when we break the Ten Commandments. And we'll look at that here in a little bit. But God loves us so much, he looked down into time and he wanted to have that relationship with us. But sin was in the way. And so Jesus gave his life. Uh, he grew up as a sinless man, and he died on the cross and rose from the dead to take away our sins. And so that's how we uh, come to know Jesus, is by receiving Jesus as our Savior and having him cover our sins and his blood covering our sins. So like we talked about, sin blocked the way between God and people. And God wanted to have a relationship with us. So he gave his son Jesus, Emmanuel, who came down to earth, because he loved us so much. And we remember that God shows his love for us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that's our memory verse, right? Romans 5, 8, but while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. And Jesus, when he died on the cross, that conquered sin. So sin got out of the what was able to be conquered and taken away from us. And Jesus made a bridge so that people could come and meet God. So God was able to come down and we were able to be one again. So Jesus was able to do that by taking the sin away from our lives. But first we have to tell Jesus we're sorry that we've disobeyed him, that we've done things that we shouldn't have done. And we should, like we've broken some of the Ten Commandments. When we've broken the Ten Commandments, when we've lied or stolen or disobeyed our parents or all kinds of different uh, things that we've done that, have, that don't honor God, that's sin. And when we've done that, that comes between us and God. But Jesus, remember, he made the way between God and people so we could come to God. And so God wants to do that today with us. He wants to come and have that relationship with us today. He wants to have that relationship with you. And he has that free gift. I've still got that in here. It's a free gift. It's God's love to you and he gave Jesus so that you could have his love and his forgiveness. That relationship with Jesus starts with a simple prayer and I just want to lead you in that today. First of all we have to acknowledge that we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he rose from the dead to take away our sins and to have eternal life with us. And then we have to uh, receive that gift of love that God wants to give us and that's Jesus. And we will we'll do that with start it with a simple prayer today. And so if you want to bow your heads and get your brothers or sisters or your parents with you, we can go ahead and pray and receive Jesus. We'll just say, Jesus, come into my heart and be my Savior. I'm sorry for my sins, and I want to live for you. Amen. When we prayed that prayer, Jesus comes and lives in our hearts and lives, and he takes away our sins, and he gives us new, new life. We're, it's like we're a new person, and that gift of love he gives to us. And when we do that, we become a Christian. So if you prayed that prayer today and asked Jesus to be your Savior, come into your heart, and take away your sins, then you become a Christian today. And so you have that new life as, as a Christian. And we grow in Christ by reading the Bible, by praying or talking to God, and getting together with other Christian people. So I want to encourage you today, if you've done that, then make sure you go tell somebody that today you prayed and asked Jesus to be your Savior, and that you are a new, new person in Christ, that you've received that free gift of love from God today. And that was Jesus, Emmanuel, who came down to earth so that we could have that relationship with God.
I tell you what, Ethan. No wonder they call it Mystery Island. It's full of mysteries. Uh -huh. We got two days left. We got to get off this island. We got a clue for today. And clue for tomorrow. And we got to find food. <laughs> Look at my ribs. I'm so oh my starving. goodness. I am so starving. We haven't ate anything. Come on. Let's go. Let's get the clue. Let's get food. It's lightning round time. All right, let's see if you can answer some of these questions. What is sin? You're right, it's disobeying God. You got it right. And, and who is Jesus and why did he come to earth? Do you remember? That Jesus is God's son and he came to earth because he loves us so much and he wanted to have that relationship with us. And he died for our sins so that we could know God and have relationship with him and that we could one day have heaven with him. You guys got that one right too. You're so smart out there. The next one is, what what does it mean to believe in Jesus for eternal for our eternal life? Remember, we prayed and asked him to asked him to be our savior and told him we were sorry for our sins and we asked him to come into our hearts and lives and 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 help us to live that life for God. And then, what was the final one? We know. Is, what's something that you you learned this week and and today about God? Did you discover anything new? Yeah, that's right. You discovered that God is Emmanuel. He came to uh, to be with us. He came left heaven and came to earth to be with you and me, so that we could have that relationship with Him. So He could forgive us for our sins, and that we could have a relationship with God. You guys did great. Good job on the lightning round. Today we have a special activity for you guys to do. Another minute to win it challenge. Now we focus today on God is Emmanuel and how God sent his son Jesus to live on this earth, to die on the cross for our sins. And of course he rose from the dead. Now we have a game called Love Connection. So in your kit, you have a bag that has the heart pieces in it. And these are a total of eight hearts that have been cut in half, so you have puzzle pieces. Your challenge is within one minute to complete all of the puzzle pieces and have eight complete hearts, okay? So let's get ready. I'm shuffling my pieces up a little bit and you should probably do the same just to make sure it's nice and challenging. One minute on the clock, let's go. I'm gonna have to spread them out a little bit so that I can Get an idea. Oh my. Oh wait. This one? Yes. Okay. I'm looking for similar patterns. That was a big squiggle. So it didn't quite match. Oh, there's some more. Right. Okay. Two. Um, there's another jacket one. There's three. Four, I think I'm about halfway there and I have half of my matches done. So this is gonna be down to the wire. I'm gonna have to get a little faster, I think. There's five, six, of course it gets easier, the less pieces. I stop talking and focus. Here we go. And one more to go. Match, eight matches, 10 seconds left over. So I think that I completed that challenge. Can you complete it at home? Go ahead and try. And remember where I put your pieces together, how much God loves you. Today's snack is heart melts. You should have everything you need to make these. A heart type candy, some sort of chocolate, and pretzels. It's really simple. Unwrap your chocolate. That might be the hardest part. You place it on top of your pretzel. And these can be microwaved for about 10 seconds. Now, if you do use the Rolos, only microwave them about five seconds. Your parents can help you do this, but they melt much faster than the Hershey Kiss. After it's been in the microwave, use your heart candy and press it down on top. And your finished hearts will look like this. The ooey gooey goodness of heart melts reminds us that God created our hearts and he loves us so much. Ethan, what's our clue for the day? Uh, I think it's a heart because God loves us and he sent his son to die on the cross for us because he loved us so much. Well, I'm trying to think like these teachers. If they're going to hide a clue in this island, 
Where would they put it if it's about a heart? Maybe like a, I don't know, maybe there's like a tree it's shaped like a heart. <laughs> well, they've done the Probably tree not. a couple of times. Maybe it's like in the center, the dead center, well, the know, heart of the island. I'll Where's tell that? you what, it's got to be that way. Let's get how the wind's going. If we go that way, Okay. if we, if we divide by the equator, okay. times it by the general equinox, yeah, right. head it right, I think let's go this way. Ready? Come on. Ethan, I'm pretty sure the dead center of the island, if I did my math is right, it's right over here. What do you think? I don't think so. there. Uh, you, we'll see who's right. I got my math skills. It's got to be around here somewhere. I think it's, I think it's over here somewhere. No, it's over here. Whatever you say. Well, you got to trust old dad sometimes. Wolf? You got to trust old dad. It's what simple you? math. What do you think that sound is? Think it's like a wolf or something? It would be. It would be. mystery wolf. Hey, I found it. Oh. I bet the wind blew it. Think yeah. the wind blew it? Let's go over here. Yeah, Get in some shade here. All right. Oh, watch out for that angel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. It's got a heart on it. Okay. All right. Here we I'm hungry. Hey, you some food. All right, First Peter 5, 7b. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Okay, what Today's clue is heart. Heart. So what, what word would you... Hmm. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Cares. Hey. Well, the second one, the first yeah. one. All right. Yeah. Is, there a, is there a secret letter? Yeah, I think... Yeah, S. It's underlined. S. All right. Must be important it's underlined. Well, here you go. That's important. I'll S, tell you what. put it on your grid, kids. After four days... I'm starting to get hungry. Me too. Actually, I started to get hungry on day number one. I started to get hungry. And right I'm going to tell down. you right now, buddy, you're going to find out your old dad is a, he's a, he's a wilderness explorer. I don't, did you know that I was in the service? Really? Yep. Took three years of Cub Scouts. And I'm not kidding about that. All right. I'm going to make you a meal. Go get washed up, buddy. All right. Welcome to our craft time. Today, we're going to make this mini diorama with our older students. The video for the three and four year old preschool craft is linked in the description of this video. So let's get started. First, we're going to take this circle piece that we have and we're gonna color this. The bottom, we're gonna color blue like the ocean. The top, we're gonna color yellow and some lines of orange for like the sunset. Do a few lines of orange down in the bottom. And this is going to resemble the sunset. Once you're done coloring, we're going to take cross and we are going to put some glue stick on the back of the cross. Stick this to the right of our verse. Press. After that, we are going to take these little double-sided stick mounting squares. We're gonna stick them to the back of our picture. Off. So get the 
double-sided part. Okay, and then once you're finished with that, you're gonna take your plastic Petri dish, and you'll notice at the bottom, we have some blue foam stuck to it. We are going to try and line up the blue of our water to the blue of our Petri dish. Stick that inside. Then we're gonna take our sand and carefully place that inside the dish. Next, we'll take our seashells that we have and put those on top of the sand. And then we're gonna take the lid and we're going to put this on. The reason for the blue foam is to keep this lid secure onto the Petri dish and we don't spill the sand. So try and squeeze that on and be careful not to break it. Squeeze that all the way on. And then our final step is to take our magnet and pull off. The back is sticky and we are going to stick this to the back of our mini diorama and you can hang this on your fridge or anywhere that is magnetic. Hey, Mystery Islanders. We're back again, and we're doing our memory verse review. Do you remember the memory verse? It's Romans 5.8. But God showed his love towards us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Did you say that? Good job. I thought I heard you all say that together. And remember, we talked about that today, about how much God loved us that he died for us, and that uh, he did that so that we could have relationship with him and that he could be our God and we could be his people. Good job. And remember today's challenge. If you made the snack today, make sure you take a picture of it and post it on Wayside Temple's Facebook page. And make sure also, if you prayed and received Jesus as your savior today when we prayed, make sure you also let us know that you made that commitment in your heart to Jesus by praying that prayer because we want to know that. And then remember to tune back in at 1 p.m. because a winner will be drawn every day and then you might be that winner today. And even if you don't win on Facebook today, you're a winner because you received Jesus as your savior today. Good job. Yeah, yeah, Ethan, this is the life, bud. I don't know if there, I don't see very many fish in this water. Oh, I think we're gonna catch something. Whatever you say. And then that creek, the creek or creek? Oh. Uh -huh. I think it's a creek. Anyway, I'll be honest with you, Ethan. There ain't no strings on these sticks. I don't think we're gonna catch much. Can I be honest with you about something else? Mm -hmm. Well, your old dad, he ain't no regular David Boone or Daniel Crockett or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh. So I've got to meet, oh here, let me put my bag over here. I've been preparing it all day. Yeah. I figured mom would pack us something, but I don't think she has, so. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to pray over this stick and have the Lord bless it because we're going to eat it. That's all we got. I can't eat a bug. And maybe it'll turn into something. Well, maybe we can give us something in our bellies. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. What if I had some salt or some oregano or something? Just pretend it's coming out of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll take the first bite. Oh, here goes. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, candy bars! You should, you, I, I guess we should have checked our bag. All right, now we don't have to fish. Yeah, we could eat for two days on Woo! these 52 candy bars. All right, oh, 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 thank you. Tommy. It looks like they are enjoying that food. I am so glad that they found something to eat. I just hate that they waited so long to check their backpacks. They've been wearing them all week long. Oh my goodness. But anyway, at least they're getting some nourishment today, right? <laughs>
Well, we are wrapping up day four. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget that your daily challenge today to be done before uh, by 12.30 is to do our snack. So get into your VBS kit. You'll find the things to do today's craft and also the snack, but take a picture of your snack once you're finished with it. Maybe a picture of yourself eating it and enjoying it and get it to us. And if you're not sure how to do that, visit wayside.live and you'll find the links that you need to post the picture where it needs to go so that we have it. Remember, all pictures need to be submitted by 1230 for you to be in the drawing. And we'll be back live at 1 p.m. on Facebook to do that drawing and give away a great prize again today to another great winner. So thanks for joining us. Make sure you have all four letters written down on your card and we just have one more left. Can you believe tomorrow is Friday already? We are almost done and maybe you're getting an idea or a guess of what you think the mystery word is. We'll find out tomorrow for sure if Justin and Ethan can find our last clue. And we have one more thing to discover about our great God. So join us tomorrow. We'll see you then.